The RPM TV long-term test fleet attracts a varied and often desirable array of cars, but over the past 12 months, one car in particular has attracted a lot of attention. It's hard to believe that it's been almost exactly a year since we received our long-term Mini Coupe JCW, a car that polarizes opinion, a car that a lot of people don't like simply because it has some very strange styling traits, but a car that in fact has done very well in its time with us. A car that actually has become quite desirable and we're going to be very sorry to see it leave our long-term garage. Of all the variants in the Mini Stable, the cheeky two-seater only Mini Coupe is arguably the most quirky. The sloping rear screen and the rooftop spoiler combine to create the impression of a baseball hat worn backwards, while the two-seater layout hampers practicality. Of course, this Mini is a cut above because it is a John Cooper Works model. The JCW badge means more power, a sportier chassis, bigger wheels and some aerodynamic aids, including an active boot spoiler. All of which intimates a fair amount of dynamic talent too. We were determined to put the Mini to full use during its tenure with us. Only days after delivery, we added more than a thousand Ks during a weekend trip to the Lowfeld and found that the Mini was an effortless cruiser and a pretty economical one too. The whole point of a long-term car is to really get under the skin of the vehicle and to use it in as many different situations and applications as possible. From a positive point of view, we've enjoyed the dynamics and the performance of the Mini. It is a lot quicker than you think. It's certainly a very engaging and involving car, and you won't believe how fast you can get from point to point when you're really in a hurry. It does feel more sports car than it does Mini. Of course, it is quite compromised from a practical perspective, a two-door, two seats only. That means it's a no-go for family people. On the other hand, that luggage compartment is a lot bigger than you think, and it'll certainly swallow a fair amount of luggage, certainly enough for two people. The ride might be a bit on the taut side, but if you are a JCW buyer, you'd expect that. It's a performance car, and it is a lot of fun to drive. That sense of fun remained undiluted throughout. The Mini is fast and furious when pressing on, with the turbo providing an instant injection of urge even in the mid-range. In the tight, it loved being flung about, while the taut setup ensured a close rapport between car and driver. The cabin is more comfortable and ergonomic than the trendy treatment suggests. The important stuff is intuitively arranged, while the Harman Kardon sound system became a real friend on long-distance trips. Life with a Mini hasn't been without its problems. One of those has been this door handle, which was very difficult to use, in fact, refused to work from time to time. We eventually got to the point where we had to take it to the dealer in Santon. They spent some time with the car, found out that the cable hadn't been routed properly, and sorted it out. For the rest, the odd rattle and squeak, we had a particularly bad one in the tailgate, which we did manage to find, and we did manage to solve eventually, thanks to the efforts of the mini dealership in Northcliffe, but for the rest, we've really enjoyed this car. As a JCW model, a big slice of this Mini's appeal is its performance. The 1.6-litre turbo engine is rated at 155 kilowatt, but always feels stronger. Torque steer is only prevalent when driving on wet roads, and only if you give it welly too early. The stiff chassis and low-profile tyres are short on comfort, but add vital composure. The Mini Coupe JCW is the kind of car that polarizes opinion, and for that very reason, we started this long-term test with a certain amount of trepidation. Would it really be viable to run a car like this for a year? Would the limitations in terms of practicality not get in the way of enjoying the car on an everyday basis? And in fact, given that it's a performance car and a turbocharged one to boot, would it not be quite expensive to run from a fuel consumption perspective? I have to say, on most levels, the car has pleasantly surprised us. Fuel consumption has been surprisingly good, especially over long distances. We've particularly enjoyed the performance and the fun facts of this car. And I have to say that when all things are considered, this is a vehicle we've enjoyed more than we thought and one that we will truly miss. Always zippy but surprisingly economical when open road cruising, the Mini offers a lot of motoring pleasure per rand. 